What yes. a great assortment of unusual dark things. Thank you. You it's have, uh, oh, this is a succulent, and you have yeah. a. Artichokes and. And an uh, epiphyte. Yeah, Talancia, right? This, this doesn't need any water at all. Exactly. Those would make an amazing centerpiece on their own, actually. Oh, I sometimes beautiful. put those on my table. Do you? Yeah, beautiful. just because. Like, effortless, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you have a nice assortment here in front of you. Yeah, we have some beautiful kale and calla lilies, eucalyptus. Uh, Ligustrum berries and scabiosa. Uh huh. And if you know, I try to, I think like a really good tip when you're arranging is keep it simple as far as color goes. I know these are a bit complicated. Oh, you know, but, when you're, but you know, so beautiful. Lots and of dahlias, fun. I mean, lots yeah. of amazing textures. Are those so peppers? They are, believe oh, yeah. it or not. Ornamental peppers. <laughs> beautiful. Well, show us how you how sure. go about Normally, I would use, you know, a great thing to use as a frog or taping a vessel, but something I was hoping would be easy for people at home is to take something like kale that has Can lots of... Can I put some cut flower food in? Yes. Okay. Smart tip is yep. always use flower food. I always use flower food. It'll keep your blooms happy. So, um, you know, just... This uh, will prolong the life at least a couple days. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So I normally, you know, would use a frog or something like that, but today I'm using something like kale just to kind of, you know, bulk up the arrangement and give it a little... Like basically like a frog itself with the kale, right? If that makes sense. And a frog, which is one of those little metal or glass or wire or exactly. even um, oasis. Oasis, which I've used yeah. in these pieces actually, uh -huh. because you need it to anchor. To a anchor lot of your big flowers. Exactly. And so if you're going to make a topply arrangement, you really have to have a frog. And exactly. we have. Do you still? Do you know why it's called a frog? You know, I probably do, but you should remind me. I don't me know. No, <laughs> we've never found out. We have tried for years to get somebody to give me the real good. I know that... Um, it's a cute little name. I like, yeah, I well, like calling it a frog. It's green but. and it's wet. That's exactly. one thing. That's, it hides in the water. Right, it <laughs> hides in the water. So it's so. really cute. So then you're cutting the stems off those gorgeous black collars. Exactly. Oh, I love those. That's sometimes, you know, yeah. you have to go with what you're doing with your arrangements. Sometimes you respect the length of the stem and you let them be long and elegant. So don't be afraid to cut it, though, if you need to, if you have a little bowl or you have some leftovers. Like we so have these here. would be for individual ta small tables. Exactly. Like you could group these down your table or you could have Do you them always up. remember to put an arrangement like in the bathroom? Yes, yes. always. Especially at a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want your lovely ladies to walk into a restroom that has no candles, no flowers, you know, nothing. So I love thank this you. already. Thank you, thank you. You know, and you could add some of these little berries if you want to. Sorry, this is a sturdy, sturdy stem. Sometimes you have to take pieces off like this to get them to fit, but you could accent like this with a few. I like those. Scabiosa. And then scabiosa are beautiful, the black scabiosa. They are. I remember one of the first times I worked with you. I was afraid to say scabiosa on TV with you. I thought Why, it was so you offensive. It's, yeah, it's, it's an, like, an ugly yeah, name. It's such a horrible name. No, but it's name, such a beautiful flower. It is. They're fabulous. They come in lavender and you know white and different varieties. Pale blue. Like a, yeah. Yeah. These look like little French accessories or something. Yeah, this is looking good, and it looks good from every angle. Another uh, nice way a carefully made bouquet is pretty from all sides. Exactly. So where do you Thank get this you. pretty little vase? You know, actually, these are all my own. I collect things. I go to flea markets consistently. And for something like this, you can have fun. Like, you can oh, use pretty, a tarnished yeah. silver plate. It doesn't have to be polished for Halloween. You want it to be a little bit, you know, yeah. a little bit out there. So, and surprise your guests. Like, it's old, it's funky. I love this. What's this? Isn't that great? Yeah. It's an alec alicondra leaf. Oh, my gosh. Aren't they beautiful? Look. Those are amazing. Look at that. They sort of look like wings or bat ears or something. They do. Your little Francesca's and ears. You, <laughs> yes. And you do have orchids in here, too. And you have yep. coleus. Phalaenopsis, coleus. And you, oh, look, you have... Uh, Cotinus. Cotinus. Is the, the isn't smoke bush. And isn't that eucalyptus amazing? It's like a oh, black feather. It's, it's like fantastic. so amazing. Well, so these are wonderful arrangements, and, and uh, just using the dark, dark flowers They're so beautiful. make it so perfect for Halloween. And so sophisticated yes. if you want to have that uber chic you know, Halloween party. Yeah.